The drama swirling around Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh has taken a new turn. The woman who was accusing him of sexual assault in high school now says she might be willing to testify next week after all, but not Monday, as Senate Republicans want. Amna Nawaz begins our coverage. Yeah. Yeah. They protested today in the halls of Congress. Supporters invoking the name of Christine Blasey Ford, spurred by her sexual assault allegation against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. That, as Deborah Katz, a lawyer for Ford, sent an email to the Senate Judiciary Committee to negotiate the terms of any potential testimony. In that email, the text of which was obtained by the NewsHour, Katz said Ford, quote, wishes to testify, provided that we can agree on terms that are fair and which ensure her safety. The lawyer indicated that could be next week and reiterated that Ford, quote, has been receiving death threats. The committee, chaired by Republican Chuck Grassley, previously invited Ford and Kavanaugh to testify next Monday, a date Ford's lawyer now says is, quote, not possible. Today, Republicans stayed largely out of public view. Do you believe Dr. Ford, sir? Even President Trump ignored reporters' questions while departing the White House early this evening for a Las Vegas rally. But on Capitol Hill, Democrats echoed Ford's request for an FBI investigation. You have the entire force of the presidency and all of the supporters of uh, Judge uh, uh, Kavanaugh in the Senate arrayed on one side and on the other side you have Dr. Ford who doesn't even have the benefit of an FDI, FBI investigation as we all have called for. Republicans have downplayed the need for further investigation. In today's email, Dr. Ford's lawyer reiterated that Ford's, quote, strong preference continues to be a full investigation prior to her testimony. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Amna Nawaz. And with that, we turn to our own Lisa Desjardins for more on the fallout from Capitol Hill and William Brangham on what more, if anything, could be gleaned from an FBI investigation. Hello to both of you. So, William, can the FBI investigate this? Absolutely. There's nothing precluding the FBI from looking into this. Provided, and this is the big provided, that the White House request it. That's the barrier here. The White House needs to say, reopen this background investigation into Kavanaugh. And then once they do that, I talked to a retired senior official in the FBI today, and he said, if that request comes in, there is nothing off limits. The FBI can look into any of these allegations as they see fit. And Lisa, what is it exactly that Democrats want to get from the FBI investigation? Well, they're actually asking something new of the FBI in just the past few minutes. Senator Patrick Leahy, who is on the Judiciary Committee, sent this email saying he wants the FBI to investigate crimes against Dr. Blasey Ford. He says that includes hacking of her email as well as death threats against her. So there's an investigation into things happening with her that the Democrats are requesting. As to the background investigation that we've been talking about all week and that William was talking about, Democrats in particular would like the FBI to interview Mark Judge. He's the other person that Professor Ford says was there, and they think he needs to be under oath and accountable for what he says. That's the one other name we have of who That's she right. says was at that party at that home that night. William, how long does it take, do we know, to conduct this kind of an investigation? As with any investigation, it depends on the complexity of the investigation. A, a lot of Democrats in the last few days have been pointing out that Anita Hill's investigations back in the early 90s against Clarence Thomas were also investigated by the FBI, and that took just two days to do. Many people have said that that was somewhat cursory investigation. But there's really no determining. It really depends how deep the uh, Democrats, I mean, how deep the FBI wants to go into this. And Lisa, what are Republicans saying? How do they see this latest turn? Well, we're waiting to see what they come out with publicly, but right now they are not yet backing down about the Monday hearing. However, privately, uh, I think the, we're hearing from some key Republican offices, they feel that they will need to accommodate Dr. Ford. If she's saying she can meet next week, they don't think it's good for Republicans to force a Monday hearing without her. Now, at the same time, we're also seeing that on the campaign trail, pressure is mounting. Protesters throughout the Capitol, as Omna reported, but we're also seeing some Republicans, like um, a man who used to be a Republican, now the independent governor of Alaska, mm -hmm. has come out and said that he opposes the Kavanaugh nomination. That's important, of course, because Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski is a swing vote. You know, she determines her own vote, but if the man running for re-election as governor of that state is now a formal no on Kavanaugh, 
is something she's thinking about. So it sounds like they're beginning to feel some political yes. blowback. William, Republicans, though, are saying even if the FBI goes and investigates this, they can't make a judgment call. So what value is it? This is true. This is what the FBI's protocol is for all these cases, not just in this case, that they gather the evidence and simply put it forward, and then it's to whoever receives that report, in this case it would be the White House, to determine what to do with it and what to make of the assessments. In fact, I talked with C. Boyden Gray, who was in the Bush White House back during the uh, Anita Hill allegations, and he said, made this very same argument that the FBI can't really render a judgment, so what would we learn that we don't already know? Supporters of, of Dr. Ford, including Janet Napolitano, who I spoke with today, said there are so many other threads to this. They could interview Mark Judge, as Lisa mentioned. They could interview the other students who might have been at that party. They could interview the therapist that Dr. Ford allegedly told this to. So they argue that, that this, this timeline set forward by the GOP is completely artificial and that there's no reason why it couldn't take days, perhaps weeks, to reopen this and really get to the facts. In the meantime, Lisa, we wait. The, the Republicans right. are in control of this. Stay tuned. Lisa Desjardins, William Brangham, thank you both. We will hear from the Congresswoman with whom Blasey Ford first raised her accusation and from a woman who clerked for Judge Kavanaugh. That will be right after the news summary.